Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Coaster. My name is Uber, and today is episode 15. Okay, so whilst I've been away, I've been having lots of little thoughts about what I'm going to do with this area here, and I've come up with a fab idea. that Basically, I want to run a Morisona spinner all through this area here with some cool interactions from the rides. And then once we've built the coaster, we're going to theme this whole area so it all fits into a kind of kiddie, fun adventure. I think the station's going to kind of start over here somewhere with the lift hill going out back. And then we're going to do lots of spinny cool things over there. So, first things first, we'd better get the desired coaster type that we want. Yes, spinning, spinning, spinning. There we go, look at that. Yeah. Actually, I might sit this here. Hmm, or shall I say it here? Hmm. No, I think I'm going to sit it here. And I'm going to raise it up over so slightly. And we're off. Let's start our testing off straight away so I can see what's going on. And the first thing we want to do is not that. We're going to drop it down ever so slightly. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually spinning right now. No, it's not spinning. Okay, that's good, because I don't really want it to spin. Actually, I do want it to spin. Do I want it to spin? Yeah, I want it to spin. So let's take the spin off right now. Unlock car spin. I kind of want that flat. So it looks real. And then we can drop this down. What I kind of want is like a, a groovy little S-bend. That kind of goes across here. And then up this way. And on to the lift hill. That's kind of what I've got in mind. And out this way, because I want it to be straight. Is that actually going to make it there? I'm not actually sure. Let's wait until the train comes around, the car comes around. Yes, it will. So we'll put the spinning lock on. We'll shorten that track piece down. And we will put a block section in there. And then start climbing the lift. Uh, I think this is prob that's probably a little too steep. Hmm, that is a little too steep. So let's kind of make it a little bit more sensible. That's probably a little too high also. Let's get it to that knob point. Not sure how's that looking from there. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It's still fairly high, but it's okay. And Kadunk. <laughs> right, let's stick it on track. But we'll actually take the brake lock off. Shorten this piece of track down. And we are on our way. Let's get a bit of banking around there. Let's make a nice sweeping bend as it comes down. We're going to wrap around the teacups. That's going to be pretty cool. Oops, I don't want that much though. Rip. Let's straighten that out. And we'll take that back a little bit. Because I kind of want it to not do that. I kind of want it to just dive by the side of them. That's it. Yeah, like... Oh, shit. What did I do there? Excuse my French. Thank you. And I think we're going to do, like, a little bunny hop. 
probably needs to be a little bit higher because of the type of coaster I'm using. And then we're going to dive into a nice bend here. So let's actually shorten that bit of track down. Whee! And then we're going to swing it off this way. Put a nice curve in there. He says, but that looks absolutely gross. I'm not sure if that's going to be a little too fast, so... Just going to have to see for now, because I want it to come back over into this space, do some kind of Immelman... Immelman twist. Come on. You can do it, little car. That's way too much. That's too steep there, so we need to bring that up because that made too much of a a dip, which is never good. Start bringing that over there, and that's probably a much better way to do it. Actually, I think I want to send it back the other way now. Uh, but I'm probably going to have to lift it up a little bit and do that. In fact, I could even send it into an Immelman there. So let's do that. What happened there? I thought we were going to have exciting things going on. And then we'll kind of peter this out to straight. Apologies if you can hear someone shouting in the background. There appear to be some children next door who want to play. Obviously not with me, but they want to play and be noisy. Shame on children being noisy. <clears throat> anyway. I think I'm going to send it into... I'm going to shorten this piece down and send it up into a kind of block, I think. Maybe. How fast is it going here? That's actually not too bad. It, it will make it up there. So we can, uh, we can actually make this a little bit taller. And we'll send it through a block break there. Shorten that down. And then back to normal track. And I think I kind of want to send it... Where do I have to get back to? I have to get back to there. So if I send it kind of around here, back under here, and round. Is it going to have enough steam for that? I guess we could always put a second lift in. It's not unheard of in these coasters. It's going to kind of dive, not that low, because that's too low. Too low! Oh, just didn't go down that whole section at all. Is that too low over that queue line? Just a touch. Just a touch. I'm going to end up with people getting attacked by the coaster at this rate. So it's going to come down into a nice sweeping bend. And then it's going to come back up. And turn to the... This way. To the right. I love these coasters. You know, they're, they're really cool. I love them. I find them so fun. It's going to kind of come across the top of there. How do I make that just flat? Oh, there we go. But I think that's going to be too steep, so we'll do that and then we'll flatten it. Oh, where's it going? I know I don't want you to go that way. Go the other way. I want you to go at the side of the path, but not on the path. Thank you. Side of path. 
And then we can have like loads of like um, canopies and stuff going over here, which I think will look super duper cool. So I'm gonna. Oh, it's gonna be tight getting around balloon ride. However. No, I'm not gonna like that. Let's see if we can get it round the balloon ride. Round the balloon ride. Maybe we'll uh, straighten this out. Reduce it. Put a bunny hop in. Is that enough to get over the top? Just. Just makes it over the top there. I'm not too happy about that. So we'll do that. Put another block in here. Where was the last block? Last block's only there. Mind you. Yeah, that's probably a good place. We're going to have to have loads of these things going around. Because otherwise, it's going to have the worst queue known to man. Uh, go back to track, come down, back, bring it around. It's not going to be that sharp once I've smoothed it. It'll look a bit better once it's all smoothed out. But I want it to kind of swing around the outside. And then, why is it doing that? Why is it diving there? No, I don't want you to dive there. I want you to dive here. So, swoops. What I actually need it to do is do something along the lines of... This. Sorry about the lag today, guys. I think my computer is doing something else in the background. Which is really a bit of a pain in the bum. Because I don't want it to be doing something else in the background. Because I'm busy. Busy building roller coasters. So it's kind of done a bit of this, a bit of that. Ah, I like the way it interacts with the area. Like all over the paths around the rides. It's cool. It's cool. It's going to look good. So I'm not sure actually if we should put a second lift hill in at this point. Oh dear. Just totally bodged that up. Because it does still have a way to go. Right, let's kind of just watch how it's... Do we need to make this a little bit more crazy? Or is it kind of where it needs to be? It's going to come up there, hit the block, dive down into there, nice sweeping turn, and I think it does kind of behind these trees and shops, so let's, uh, let's kind of Move it along here. It's not going to be going quicker than I thought. If it is, we can. I can always bank it. It's not a massive headache. And then we'll get that spot to there. Shorten that down. And then put in a lift. that that's not no it's not that's fine it's not going to be a wild lift the second one just kind of enough to send it probably around here in like a massive helix yeah I like that idea I like that idea Where the supports have gone, but let's put the track size up so we get a nice sweeping bend coming down from here. 
Oh, I really don't like the fact that it has no supports. That really causes me some issues. I'm not gonna lie. Send it round a cracking helix here. Helix of Doom! I could even straighten that out here. Straighten. Dive it over the top and send it the other way. But not that way, because that's in the ground. Strain it up. Oh, we could even maybe put a little ill one in here. Maybe. A minnow one. No, doesn't like that. So we could just kind of put this bank turning instead. And that's going to dive it back to the station quite nicely, I think. Straighten that out to zero. And then what we'll do is we'll re reduce this. Reduce, reduce, reduce. And um, we'll have block breaks there. And then we'll auto complete it down to there. I didn't really see what that last bit did, but let's uh, let's get some smoothing done on this because otherwise it's gonna be rough, rough, rough. And we'll get some smoothing done here as well. Smoothing. Make that a nice little bit. It's like a deeper. I think, maybe, I don't know. And we'll get some smoothing on here as well. That definitely needs some kind of smoothing. No, 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 no. Let's pull it up. And it needs to go around this way. But that is a very lucky junction. I think I actually need to rotate this this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Is it going to bounce too much there? That is a very icky section. Oh, that's made it better, has it? No, I don't know. You'll get some odd G's, I think, there. We'll take a ride, don't worry. We'll take a ride. Just going to smooth out the exit of that. And we'll smooth this down into here. That's better. And possibly this bit. Just just to get everything a little bit more in line, really. Because otherwise you end up with these very odd twists. Like this one. It's It was a bit too... That's not too bad. I need to see how it gets across here. But yeah, look at our little area with our little our little coaster zipping round. I kind of like it. All right, where is it? Right, it's going up lift one. It's going up to the top of the lift. 
I'm not sure how I like that banking now. It doesn't really bank at all, that bend, does it? It's just a drop rather than a nice bend. It might be a bit high on the G's there. I might have to do some twiddling. That didn't seem to be too bad. This junction's going to be... This section's going to... Yeah, that section was awful. Smooth. Thank you. Is this a bit better now? Or is it still a bit... Bleh? No, I think that's okay. How does it do going through here? No, it kind of does alright over there. It's a yucky section. Yucky, yucky, yucky. And that's like really steep. Really, really steep. Smooth banking. Let's take a little bit of the edge off that. Right, and how does it do going over there? Mm -hmm. It needs a little bit of work there, that's for sure. Comes over the top. And this is okay, but this is not okay. It's not okay. This drop is also not okay. Let's try and get some. goodness on there, and this kind of, I feel like it needs a little tilt to it. Just a little bit. I think we're nearly ready to go for a ride. And we'll test out how it's, uh, how it's running. This is going to turn into a really cool area down here. I think I'm going to put some food and stuff towards the back end of it. Up here, maybe. Right, you know what? Let's first turn it into block sections. Uh, where's block sections? Block section. The number of cars. Two, three, four, five, six. Mm, five, I think. Let's go for a ride. This will kind of see as well how kind of well the block system actually works because it might be horrendous. It might be horrendous and we might end up with a huge ride jam of loads of rides just kind of s loads of uh, the cars just stalled in places. However with this having an extra gap that should help ease the problem. So we should go into spinny mode now. And have a little drop. Bit of lag, sorry about that guys. Having a good spin spin. Nice, I like the way it kind of came out of that bend. That's a bit yucky. It'll look cool when the balloon ride is going around. It'll be like, hello, hello. What are we doing now? We're just kind of... Oh, that wasn't too bad. That kind of went down there nicely, just as a coaster like this style would. Whoa, look at that. That was wicked seeing that one come by like that. I like it. I like it. Oh, we're having a little sway on the lift hill. It's, uh, it's really developing some lag. Maybe I should... Uh, should start limiting the guests, perhaps. Woo! Yeah! Down here, nice sweeping bend around there. Yeah, that's just how I kind of envisaged it. There'll be lots of duck through things and cut through things, and that was kind of cool too. Possibly a little too quick through there, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. I kind of like it. How does it kind of make the area look? It's not quite as 
It's not quite what I wanted, like it's quite high from the ground, but I don't like this bit with no supports either. I might actually remove some of this pathway and see if we can get the supports to reappear. Yes, we can. Maybe they don't like to appear over there for some reason. I'm not really sure why that's like that. And we have our seven lengths. Oh, they're back now. I was going to say, can I just kind of push that round there, maybe? No, I don't like that. that bit there. But I can level that out. That's not a massive issue. Okay, so this area is coming together nicely. There's no customers in it yet, but that's kind of good. Our guest intake hasn't dropped really either. Has the rest of the park got really busy? No, not really. The log flume's still busy. That's all still busy. The carousel's got a bit busier. That's still heaving. That's still heaving. Uh, where's our other ride bus? So that's also still heaving. So, yeah, I think this is going to be good when we get this whole area opened down here. So let's uh, let's finish up the path in this area, and let's get... What am I going to do with this random bit of path? Can it go under the lift? So it's like a big circle kind of thing. I kind of don't want it to be... Like a big... Okay, so this is this area. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for me. It'll give a nice guest flow. And we better put our entrance in. Where can the entrance go? In the exit? Uh, yeah, that's kind of okay. The entrance is going to... The, the queue line's not going to do that, because that's not what I want for our queue line. I could change the queue line up in this part. What, what does this orange this look like? Yeah, this doesn't look cool. This doesn't look too bad. We can change all the other rides as well. Because I think this ride is going to be busy. So let's put a fairly big queue line in. It can kind of queue along the edges of of itself. Ah, it might be nice actually to put a little bridge over the queue line, bridge over the path. That might be a nice idea. How high is that? It's not high enough yet to go over the path, but it's getting there. No, I didn't want you to go down. Don't go down, go flat. Nope, not quite high enough yet. Oh, yeah, and we'll have the, the entrance to this ride on the other side. And I can build a cool bridge then out of uh, abstract shapes and stuff. Yeah, I like that idea. And we'll put another little cattle pen queue line on this side to get all those folks in. And where do I want the entrance for it to be? I think actually here is probably going to be the best bet. Yeah, cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and change the other few lines as well. And then this area can then have like an orangey, funky theme. I'd be a bit more playful. I'm actually thinking of building a soft play area too. Not a soft play area, but like a jungle gym kind of assault course. I kind of want a water... A watery splashdown area, not a splashdown area, you know what I mean, like an interactive water, water play area. Nice. Oh yeah, let's change it to orange bases. If I increase the length of this, will it snap more of this? No, it just changes the individual pieces. Okay, that's alright, it's not a massive problem. I'm going to change the colour of the coaster as well, because I don't like the colour of it. It needs to change and be a little bit more zany, because this is uh, Imagination Land. 
Imagination. I'm kind of pretty, pretty excited to theme this area. I've got some cool ideas, like some... Not... Not necessarily... Why? Why are you obstructed? Okay, so I need to change that path around. Okay, that's fine. And all of this path too. Okay, that's a ball here. That's a pain in the bum. Big pain in the bum. So I can't change the whole of that ride base because the coaster is close. Right, okay, thanks for that. Yeah, I can build whatever else I like there, just not path. Just, I can't change the path colour, even though the path is already there. Good times, Planet Coaster. Good times. Oh, that was a job and a half. Obstructed. I'm going to have to look at that at a later date, possibly off, the, off air. So that gets our little queue line in there. That gets this whole area kind of looking a little bit cooler. Imagination land. Let's get rid of this tree because he's in the way. And this guy is two. And let's block that line of sight. Because at the minute you can see right into that area. And I do not want that at all. So we'll just put a little, a little barrier of trees down there for now. And then eventually it'll be time to open. Imagination land. Ooh, yeah. Let's take a line to surface off. Otherwise I end up with a wonky tree. There we go, the, this this rockery came in useful after all. Let's put another another tree in. I sink it into there so it looks like a kind of a big bush. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Everywhere else, it's it's not going to really be visible at all. But yeah, another coaster, guys. Look at that. Slowly coming together. Our new area, our kid area. Imagination land. So we've got Bear Pass over here. Imagination land over here. And then we'll have a central hub here, possibly with a new land. I'm not sure. Or something that turns over. And then... We'll start branching out even further. Right. Let's, uh, oh, the excitement is not great on this, though. Why is it so low? 2.79, that's it. God. Maybe it's all the sweeping. But there should be some airtime in there, right? One count of airtime. Oh. Well, we can change that by just kind of picking up bits of the track. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go wild, guys. It's been smooth banking out of it. That's not going to give me any air time though. Air time is... that's an awful bit. It really upsets me. It really upsets me. That doesn't make it much better, but it'll do. It'll do. It's probably because all the air time spots have been blooming. It fiddled with. Uh, let's try and make that a little bit more air timey. See what happens as it dips around there, if it even makes it now. Hmm, not great. Not great. 
just trying to think where there's anywhere else we could dip some air time in, but kind of everywhere's bent. Whoa, hey, that's very bent. Why is that so bent? Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth the banking, jeez. Jeez Louise, smooth the banking. Maybe we need to like put a little pop of air time like in here. Oh, all these pieces are huge. Let's like lift this piece up here to try and get a little a little spike of air time in there, but I don't think I even will. It's a bit funny, and this is a very sharp corner to be doing such a turn on. Kind of comes out of there and then goes into that. Oh, that's not so bad when it's smooth. Still not going to get airtime from that though. Hmm. Well, it should still be okay. It should still be okay. Possibly the excitement is because that is down because of the lift. Uh, let's see, life. Did oh, it's gone up a little. I think has it? Maybe I don't know. Heat maps. Excitement. So this has big excitement, this has like very little excitement. So the whole ride is basically dull as hell. That's what it's telling me. There is nothing exciting about any of this. Oh dear. So why is this bit so exciting? 9.68 excitement. Random. Fear. Nothing's very scary. Oh well. Right guys, well I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to wrap it up just there. So we got a, a new coaster built that we may have to modify a little bit in the near future. But this whole area is now starting to look a little bit more... Well it's certainly got all the rides that I want in it. So the next kind of job is going to be adding some food stands and then getting some theming in. So yeah, if you have enjoyed yourselves, please like, comment and subscribe. Just make all the difference. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a fabulous day. Bye.